today I actually worked out because I'm still in my workout clothes uh, cooled off before I come up here and made my video I didn't want to come up here all sweaty but didn't go to the gym just worked out on the elliptical um, basically for some reason I just like I'm just going to do cardio today I wasn't big I wasn't just didn't want to get out today for some reason so I was like I'll just use the elliptical here it's I like it I actually watched Adventure Time while I was doing it because <laughs> I, we, I, we stopped getting TV uh, a while back. I can't remember how long ago now. Um, I actually, I'm on season six, I think, of uh, Adventure Time. Like Ar uh, Finn just got his arm back like an episode or two ago. And it's, I, I really like Adventure Time. I, 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 I think I started... I saw it once, like in season two, and then I started watching all the reruns and everything, caught up, and really cool show. Not really for kids. <laughs> it's actually really, it's pretty deep. Uh, the Ice King's my favorite character. If, uh, if you like it, check it out. It's pretty deep. The Ice King is actually probably one of the deepest characters in the show. Uh, well, him and Marceline. But, anyways, um, Funny joke. Uh, I told my wife, I was like, yeah, I'll probably going to get up and uh, make a hearty breakfast in the morning. And she's like, and I could tell, she was kind of like, what? And she, I understand why. She's like, you don't like, you don't, I don't know, she's like, she's probably thinking, you don't like to get up early. Why in the world do you want to get up early and make a big breakfast? And I waited for her and she was like, why? And I was like, you know. So I went get up and get a hearty breakfast so I can work on the server farm. <laughs> she just looked at me and rolled her eyes. <laughs> uh, if, if anybody doesn't know what um, they're talking about, server farm is a basically just a bunch of, bunch of servers. And it's just a wordplay joke. Um, I told her, I was like, yeah, I'll lay, on the, lay, on the, lay on the farm, watch all the clouds go by. Oh, look, Zura. AWS. <laughs> I just let them all float by. <laughs> Cloud computing joke. Bad joke, yes, I know. If you're if you're a network engineer or, or into computers a lot, you might and you know what that means and you laughed, cool. If you didn't, you're just like, I don't get it. It's a nerd joke. <laughs> um But anyways. Um Found we've just been having this issue at work uh, with um, DPM or Data Protection Man Protection Manager, and we've been working like couldn't figure it out like around November before I started working in there. They just said like some computers just randomly stopped doing backups. I mean, re and I started researching it today because I, I didn't know anything about it. The other some other people were working on it. And I looked and I figured out oh the Build 1607 broke it, the uh, Windows 10 Anniversary Edition update. So basically, I was looking, seeing resolutions, and I found one. It's kind of convoluted. And then it was like, oh, wait, there's a patch, like a few, like about a week or two ago, that supposedly fixes it. So I, at the end of the day, I was like, okay, I want to try to do this and let them know what I was going to do. It's like to update the server and so we can update the agents and everything. And hopefully that'll work. Uh, if not, then I'm not sure what we'll do, but hopefully this will take care of that. Um, but yeah, I've been working on that today, so, but okay, anyways, also, the programming position, this is an issue I'm having right now. Um... Not last week, but the week before. I had, there was an, the network team there sent out an update to all the computers. They were on Office 2010, and they upgraded to 2013. Okay. But they tried to push this update out to a lot of computers. It took four and a half hours for this to update on my computer. Okay. That's all right. But... The front end thing I'm working on is an access, so I can't open access. I can't do any work. Okay, cool. So I'm like, I don't think it's going to, I didn't know how long it's going to take, so I'm sitting there. I wait and wait 
and wait and wait. I go to lunch, come back, and it's done. I'm like, all right. So I'm, I'm assuming it's four and a half hours. It may have been, I mean, it may have been four hours and 59 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> but it took a long time for that to get done. So when I started working on what I was supposed to be doing, I didn't have much time to do it. Then last week, uh, there was an issue. I had to take care of this report, took care of that, worked on it a little bit uh, that day, the, the, the issue they're having. I'm not giving any specifics because I'm not sure what I can really talk about and what I can't. This is more of an, an, a question about, I'll, I'll, you'll get to the question at the end. And then there's an investigation going on. Uh, so I had to pull, a, I had a meeting, then had to pull some information, and then later on I had to pull some more information. So I worked on, maybe, I could have worked maybe an hour the most on this issue that they're having. So I'm thinking in, in the past, because I only worked there two days a week. Two. And it's like, okay, what do you do when you have this issue you need to take care of, but other things keep coming up that you have to do before it? I mean, it's like I'm no closer now than I was when I started because I, I can't work on it long enough. So... It's one of those things. I mean, really, what do you do? I mean, anybody, if anybody has a good answer, let me know, because <laughs> I don't. I mean, one of my previous jobs, I had an issue because things kept coming up. Everything. And I asked my supervisor, I said, I need a, can you give me a priority list? I want to know what tasks should be more important. Like, what should I do first? The answer I got back this was the, I've never heard anybody tell me this before, is I should prioritize my tasks so this does, so it does not become an issue. And I'm thinking, I have 12 hours of work to do in, in an eight-hour day. I can't do everything. What do I need to do first? You need to prioritize your tasks so this does not become an issue. <sighs> I didn't stay there that long. Um, so yeah, that's how... And this this time it's not that. It's just that I don't have the time. It's like, really, I you, it's, a, it's a job that you need somebody there five days a week. And it's not... That's not probably not going to happen. But anyways, enough about work. Um, Adrian today... He's getting, he's get, he's learning larger sentences now, and it's kind of funny. Um, and every so, like a lot of times, he still uses really short sayings. He'll just say one word, and uh, um, he point like on our counter, we have like some oranges, like some like well, navel or not navel oranges, clementines. That's it. Some clementines, some like like cherry tomatoes, and some bananas and some apples. And um, I opened, I got one of the clementines and gave him some of it. And he ate it. He really likes those. And then he walked up to the, the counter and pointed. And I was like, what are you pointing at? I thought he was pointing at the clementines. Because the clementines are here and the, app, the bananas are here. And like the apples and the cherry tomatoes. They're just kind of lined up on our countertop. And he pointed. And I thought he was pointing at the clementines. I was like, well, what is that? He went, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what do you want? And then he moved, then he pointed again, and I saw his point the banana. I said, "What is that?" He's like, "I want a I want a nanya." <laughs> and then I was like, "Do you want me to get your banana to eat?" And he was like, "Okay." <laughs> so yeah, it's really funny. I mean, that's not a large sentence, but I mean today, like, um, like he's like talking about he was I was throwing a tennis ball for my dog Thor, and then. Um, he picked the tennis ball up and walked over. He has this truck. It's like a flatbed tow truck. And he walked over and put the his the ball on the bed of the truck. And he was like, I put I see. I put the ball on the truck. Or I put the ball on the tuck. <laughs> yeah, he's getting he's getting better about saying words properly also. He used to call this track. 
Like that, like that's a track. This game's track and everything. Now he actually calls it a tractor. Or no, he calls it a tractor. <laughs> he says tractor. Um, the grandparents let him use an iPad a lot. And he doesn't know the code, but he can... He knows how to get to the code, to bring it up, and he knows that he has to just you touch the screen four times in, at one spot. So he go, he touches it four times in like different spots, and sometimes he'll turn, he'll he'll turn on a code, like he'll lock it for like a few minutes because he's hit like the wrong code. But every so often he'll hit the right place and unlock the the, the iPad, and then he'll touch YouTube, and he knows the icon. He'll touch it. And he knows how to navigate to the, video, the videos he likes. And it's, I'm like, dang it, how much do they let him watch? Because <laughs> like he'll be watching a video and he'll get tired of it. And he'll look over at the side and he'll, like the videos are on the side on the iPad. He'll start scrolling up them and he'll touch one he wants to watch. And one day I, I was like, okay, I reached over and I paused the video. He looked at me, then he touched it to bring the little menu up to like the, the, rewind, pause, fast forward, and he'll wait for it to come up, and he touches it again to play it. And I'm like, he freaking knows how to use an iPad better than his grandparents in some ways. <laughs> but it's good, but you can't get into a state he's, he, he does, he doesn't know. Like, if you start going into, like, like one of the other ta like one of the other menus in, on a, um, in the Yahoo, ya uh, ya I started to say Yahoo, YouTube app, <laughs> Uh, or if you open up an app, he doesn't know what it is. He he uh, kind of gets confused. But most of the time, if he realizes he doesn't know where he's at, he hits the home button. And it takes him back to the home screen, and he opens up YouTube. If he doesn't, if he opens up YouTube, and that was the one that's on the wrong screen, he does get upset because he's like, mm. he doesn't know. He starts swiping and doing everything, touching everything, trying to figure out where to get back to. Which, I mean, is nothing really bad. I mean, that's one of those things to where you, that's how you learn. I remember when I first got a computer in ooh, 95, maybe? I think it's one of the first, I can't really say it's mine. It was a Windows, was it 95 or 98? I think it's Windows 95. Yeah, pretty sure. It was a Windows 95 Acer, uh, like one of those that somebody took a shotgun to the side of. Acer computer. And... I played on it, and if you messed something up, you had dial-up internet, and there wasn't that much tech uh, websites out there. You could go to a forum and ask, but there isn't a lot of people that knew the answers. So basically, you had to figure it out. And a lot of the things you did was just like, oh, I, you drug a window off the screen. How do I get it back? I don't know. So, I mean, like, you, you're... Moving around, like you right click on the icon, like there are icons down there, but where's the screen at? I don't know. So you right click on it, then like, oh, there's a move. Click move. Move your mouse, it doesn't move anything. Okay. And you then do it again. Try the arrow keys. Oh, wait, there's the window. It's moving the window around. Or you could right click and click tile, and it tries the tile window, or went, and it's just, you find out little things like that. You find out keyboard shortcuts and just random stuff. That is one of my favorites. I still love the keyboard shortcuts. Like for any app I'm using, if I if there are keyboard shortcuts, I try to learn them. Um, I mean, the VLC player or like VLC media player or media media player classic. Yeah, on you know, PC. Um, I re that, that's actually my favorite one. Um, the keyboard commands for it. I learned those. The keyboard shortcuts on YouTube. Those are great. I mean, the fast forward and rewind 10 seconds and pause and full screen, just knowing what those are, are just phenomenal. Because, like, Spacebar doesn't always pause the video for some reason. So it's the K, like letter K. I don't know why, but that's what pause is. Um, also, the letters to the left and right of it, which are I and J, I think. That's rewind and fast forward. 10 seconds. You know, up, volume up and zero, up and down keys or volume up and down. Left and right arrows 
sometimes do fast forward and rewinding, but not always. Depends on like what the focus is on. But yeah, keyboard shortcuts. Learn them. They are your best friend to increasing your speed of doing something. Or in the case of media player classic, the B key is the boss key. You basically you're doing you're watching a video. Boss comes in, hit your B key, and it minimizes it. <laughs> Um, that's the thing. Like it, that's if you're uh, like where I'm working, you don't really have time to watch anything. Uh, so basically, you're sitting there like, okay, if you have a video, if you if you were watching something, you'd, you'd be known pretty quick, quickly. Like this guy's not doing anything. We have we have all these servers we need to bring up. We have all this stuff we need to do, and none of it's been getting done. <laughs> so yeah, if you're in one of those jobs where you can do that. The B key is your friend. I remember uh, one of my friends was, uh, he worked, I think he worked for a hospital or something like, something like that, maybe as a pharmacy or something. And he was like, they keep me here if they need me. So they, it was him and I think two or three other people. And they actually hooked up, they made, they basically disconnected their computers from the network, from the, I think it was the hospital, the hospital network. And could, could just networked them together, and they had Counter Strike tournaments and um, they played Doom and stuff like that together at work, and nobody ever bothered them. The only time they ever come, somebody ever come in is if they if somebody like up oh, something's broken. When somebody would come in, they'd all hit Alt Tab to tab out to a different screen. So yeah, it was they said they, they watched movies, and I was like. That'd be a pretty good job. I think he still works there, and most of the people still work with him. But then again, I think about that, and I'm like, would I like that? And some people are like, yeah, that's great. You sit there and browse the internet all day, doing blah and blah. You can only browse the internet so long before it gets really boring. I've had jobs like that to where it's like, okay, I can't really watch movies. I can't really do anything else, but I, I can browse the internet. So like, okay, you can get on Reddit. Okay. Well, you can only read about the world news for so long. You read about oh, new technology. Okay. Well, okay, you did that one day. Cool. One day went by fast. Next day, there's not that too, no much too much information. Over the week, there's about two days worth of reading you could do. Some, some people may be able to do it and entertain themselves constantly. I can't. Um, so basically what I would do, those day, those jobs like that, I got bored out of my mind. And I mean, it was like, oh my God, this day feels so long. How long have we been here? Holy crap, we've only been here two hours. We've got six more to go. <laughs> and be, feel like I've been there like 10 hours. Um, so yeah, if I don't actually have work to do, the day seems really long. If I'm actually working, the day seems to fly by. It's like, holy cow, I've been working on this and I haven't, what have I been, well, how, what have I been doing? Because my mind's active, I'm trying to concentrate on things and you don't have that downtime going, all right, uh, that's what makes your day longer. Well, that's what makes my day longer. That's me personally. Some other people may like that. Let me wrong, like if I had a job to where I could just sit and play games, That'd be great. That'd fly by. But no place I've ever worked would allow you to sit there and play your Game Boy or bring something like that in. But anyways, holy crap, I've been talking almost 20 minutes. I'm going to stop, get off here, edit this video, get to bed. I might actually get to bed a little early tonight. Probably not, but I'm going to try. Hope you had a good day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.